The brain box in a car is more commonly referred to as the engine control module or engine control unit. It is the computer that controls the engine and other critical functions of the vehicle. The brain box is responsible for ensuring the efficient and safe operation of the car by processing data from various sensors and making adjustments to the engine's performance in real time. Let us look at the functions of the brain box. First, fuel injection. The brain box controls the fuel injectors, regulating the amount of fuel injected into the engine cylinders. Second, ignition timing. It adjusts the ignition timing to optimize engine performance, fuel efficiency and emissions. Third, engine speed. The brain box monitors and controls the engine speed, ensuring it stays within a safe range. Fourth, transmission control. In automatic transmissions, the brain box controls the torque converter, gear shifts and clutch engagement. Fifth, emissions control. The brain box monitors and controls the emission systems, including the catalytic converter, to minimize pollution. Sixth, safety features. Modern brain boxes often integrate with safety features like traction control, stability control, and anti-lock braking systems. Seventh, diagnosis and troubleshooting. The brain box can detect and store fault codes, helping mechanics diagnose and repair problems. Now let us talk about common problems associated with the brain box. First, faulty sensors. If sensors such as the oxygen sensor, coolant temperature sensor, or crankshaft position sensor fail, the brain box may receive incorrect data leading to poor engine performance. Second, software issues. Outdated or corrupted software can cause problems with the brain box's functionality. Third, hardware failures. The brain box itself can fail due to physical damage, overheating, or electrical issues. Fourth, communication errors. Problems with the communication network between the brain box and other control modules can cause errors. Fifth, corrosion or water damage. Exposure to moisture or corrosion can damage the brain box's electrical connections and components. Here is how you can fix problems associated with the brain box. First, update software. Updating the brain box's software can resolve issues related to outdated or corrupted code. Second, replace faulty sensors. Replacing faulty sensors can ensure the brain box receives accurate data. Third, repair or replace the brain box. If the brain box is damaged, it may need to be repaired or replaced. Fourth, clean or replace electrical connections. Cleaning or replacing corroded or damaged electrical connections can resolve communication errors. Fifth, check and replace fuses. Blown fuses can prevent the brain box from functioning correctly. Sixth, use a code reader or scan tool. A code reader or scan tool can help diagnose problems by retrieving fault codes and monitoring live data.